me, it's Angela. How are you all doing? I uh, hope you have, have had a wonderful weekend and got to do some of the things you really wanted to do. Um, I got to finish off a couple of things I've wanted to uh, finish, so some of the projects that have been lagging. And today I thought you, I would just bring you a quick little flip through of this little journal which we put together um, for the how to create a journal project so which was just a, a simple one signature journal so i have filled it with the ephemera and finished decorating it now so i thought i'd give you a little flip through so you can see how it looks so here it is as i said it's one signature um i'll give you the dimensions it is 16 centimeters or six and a half inches or eight and three quarter in centimeters that's 22 centimeters and the spine it's not too um, wide it's two centimeters or three quarters of an inch is a bit chunky um, I think there are 74 pages in here front and back so as I said just the one signature so I hope that's all in frame and you can see what, what, what it's all about. Right, so it has a wallpaper um, cover. I have sealed it um, with a Mod Podge, so just to protect it. Um, we've got a picture here with some fabric layering, stitching, and we have a um, seam binding closure in this really pretty pink color. So, and I've got a large bread over there that I've made um, a hole with um, on both sides. Okay, so it's just the one signature, but it's got lots of exciting things inside. Um, so let's go and have a look and see what we have. All right, so we open it up over here. And you can see this is just a, a little pocket. You saw us do that. Um, it's a window pocket with a little cluster I've put over there with one of the tags that I've made. Um, that's from an Edith Holden page and various bits and pieces. So that goes in over there. Nice little window um, for your tag. This is an Edith Holden page. So that's the front cover there, which is really pretty. Um, I've used, I've made a envelope over here. Um, with a little cluster, a little label, I think those are one of Tracy Fox's, and a little tag. So that's in there. On the side, I've, I've recycled a, a mailer. So I've covered that up on both sides, as you can see, with some really pretty, this is actually Edith Holden um, designer paper that's on here. And this is a tag that came from one of Mrs. Cog's kits and i've just put on a little um mini tag on there like that and backed it onto recycled card so that's over there um right so oh i didn't put that in we'll get to it right so here's just a little pocket i've made with some of my paper and scraps that i was using there i've done a little bit of collaging and made another little tag also, all the card and backing um, that I've used is from recycled packaging. So that goes into that pocket there. There's lots of stitching in here as well. Here's some parchment paper. I have some stenciling at the top there. I've made that into a little pocket and put in two cards from my kit that I've just collaged um, with various things stitched and again backed. So those go into here can't remember how I had it now. <laughs> um, here's a vintage book page. Um, here's tea stained paper and I've done a bit of stenciling on there. Um, page, I think this one's calico collage. Um, some wallpaper from um, my collection. Um, bits and bobs from various kits. I'm not going to go through all of them. That's from a, um, this here is from an Edith Holden book page, which I've just backed onto tea stained paper and stitched around. I think that's Shabby Doodah and I think that's Calico Collage, but I'm not going to remember every single one of these because they are all over. 
different, many, many different ones. Here's just a page that I've put onto some craft paper. Um, here's another little tag that I've made with the collaging over there, you can see. Um, and another little card from my kit, from my stash. Can't remember where that one comes from. Uh, again, I've done some fussy cutting, layered up. There's some fabric stamping. Another um, altered page, which I've stamped, um, stenciled, and done various things to and stitched. And here's one of my one-page pockets. I have a, a tutorial on that. And lots of bits and pieces going in here. So that all goes in there nicely with some Tim Holtz um, die cuts, which I love. Here's a page I printed onto vellum. I love those, so pretty. And that backs onto some pink parchment paper. And here I've just made a fabric ruffle ta tab. Um, here is a little uh, flip page, some stenciling onto pink parchment, some lace, some vintage book pages. Um, this is a digital from Tailor Made Journals, which I love using, and that's an avocado coffee stain page. That's gorgeous. And another vintage book page. Lots of different book pages I've tried to use. I've stenciled on there. Here we have some um, antique uh, music paper. Love that. Natural um, discoloration. Here we have some little um, animals. I love that quote, we rise by lifting others. And we've got a little um, pocket that those slide into. And some scrapbook paper over here. Here we've got one of those Tim Holtz slotted die cuts and lots of bits and bobs. I've made really tiny tags here with collaging and a tiny butterfly. Look how small that is. So got various bits and bobs and then some other tags which I've just uh, printed and stamped and made myself so that's a collection of those in there we've got a little flip over there onto some more tea stain paper and then here i have got a little um tuck spot and we've got a little uh, pocket over here with various bits of ephemera in there and i've just laid up a few bits there and here's another tag that i had in my kit which i've just put on some chiffon ribbon and some other bits and they're all again back. Some more stenciling there. This slides and goes on. Well, I think I had it like that. Um, like that. Here's another um, digital page. Love that image. Some more tea stain paper, some stenciling. Here I've made a little envelope um, from scraps from, um, and then it's on an Edith Holden book page. So that's what that is. That just goes and clips on in there. Um, here we have another page that I tea, I splattered tea on this one. It's a vintage page. Love that. And that's the center of the signature, which I folded up and made a pocket. I've got some little clusters here, some little ruffles from some Liberty fabric. Um, lots and pieces of bits and bobs which I've backed onto um, card and tea stain paper in here with birds, lots of birds in this one. Um, so those just go into here like that. Um, with a little sun and clouds charm there. Um, this is, I think, from Artie Mays' spring kit. And I just took that out and put that in here because we've got lots of animals going on. Um, here's an Artie Mays tag that I had in my kit. So I've backed that onto card as well and stitched around it. Love that. Um, tea stand. Here's a little envelope I've made. Um, you've seen me make these. Um, and I've just slipped in a little card into one of those. Really pretty. I've made that up with a butterfly. And this, I think, is from chapter one. Oops. <laughs> so you always battle when you've got to film and put these things back. Right, so that just goes on over there. I've done a little bit of stenciling. 
and some more stenciling there. The other side of that um, beautiful page of the bee. Here's an altered book page that I have um, used with various scraps, fussy cuts, tumults, dyes, butterflies, everything going on here. And I have just um, put that on there and made two little cards. This one from Scrap and this one from one of my um, kit that I have, kits that I've used. So I've just put that in there like that. Um, here's just a random stitch and layering of a page that I had that I thought went really well. Here's the other side of that scrapbook paper and I've just put a little pocket on there with two little cards. Um, spring, uh, one with spring and one bloom where you plant it. Love that as well. So I'll just stuck that in there. Um, here's just a little booklet. It's, it's not a booklet, it's just like a folder thing that I've put over the music page with these beautiful images on. And I've just stenciled in the middle of that there so you could easily do some journaling and it just wraps around the page like that. Another vintage page, um, the other side of that tailor-made um, avocado dye paper and another bit of that beautiful Liberty fabric that I've made into a ruffle tab there. Um, and the other side of those vintage book pages. Here I've just put, um, got to grip it. Here I've just put one of these tiny little um, little clips on here. Uh, it's got a ruffle with a, a vintage um, mother of pearl button and some layering. It's just a flip out like that onto some pink parchment. And then this is a embroidered postcard uh, digital one of my own and here is just another card that I've used from a scrap and I've put that in there and just to keep those in place I've just used this little ball clip just to grip them and go like that oh and it's gripped my <laughs> vellum there we go so here's the other side of that beautiful vellum paper very striking and blends so beautifully with that pink parchment here's another tea stain paper and um, we have a little tag over here that i've backed and put it on to the side and this is one side of the envelope with lots of layering and ruffles and lace and that's the other side of that envelope, which I've made with wallpaper, which is really pretty. Lots of layering, lots of fussy cutting. Here's the other side of that um, craft paper. Again, use various pockets, fussy cutting, labels, all sorts going on there. And another really tiny tag I've made. And another piece from the kit that I thought um, went well here. So that just goes in there. Here's just... Um, I think this is from the Wildflowers pages, which I love there. Beautiful image. Um, just st stitch that onto that other side of the craft paper. Here's some of the wallpaper pocket I've made. It's got lots of bits and pieces from various kits in here. Um, and that's an envelope, like a little coin envelope. So those all go together very nicely in there. And then I have just um, layered up a little strip there and put a butterfly on there. The other side of that beautiful wallpaper. Here's another page from the, I think this one's from Calico Collage, one of their kits. Um, here's some tea stain paper again. Uh, with some stenciling, just a little um, image from my stash onto one of the book pages like that and here's a little envelope um, with some bits of ephemera in it again lots of beautiful blue birds and just love the birds in here right so we'll just move that over here's some blue parchment paper um, here's the other side of that envelope from the beginning with that designer um, Edith Holden uh, scrapbook paper and some lace and layering and fussy cuts 
we've got a tag that I've made here as again as well and another little card that comes from one of the kits as well so I've just um, put those into I'll get that in a, in a minute oh that's the other side of that envelope um, and here's the other side of that Edith Holden page isn't that pretty and that's the back page there we go so I'll just put that in there so I know where it goes and that's our journal that we made um, on the little series how to make a journal so this is the last episode there just the little flip through um, so I hope that you've enjoyed this if you are new to journaling or if you're wanting to find out on any techniques that I've used in this journal um, please feel free to have a look um, at the rest of the, the episodes in this series and I will link the playlist below Thank you all so much. Um, I will be back um, very shortly, just two sleeps, and I will make sure that I have an exciting tutorial for you to follow on Wednesday. So thank you everybody so much. I look forward to seeing you again really soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>